Hi, it's Jason, Jason's Jungle. My tomato seedlings are romping away and need to be potted up. So I'm going to do that now. These are my Crimson Crush. This is the first time I've grown these, but there's been so many good reviews about them. Um, early variety, um, grow outside, blight tolerant or blight resistant. So I'm going to try them this year and see if I can grow them outside. So I'm just going to pop them up. I have eight seedlings here. So what I'll actually do, just to make it a bit easier, is I'll grab spoon and I'll probably use the flat end just to get in here I was way away from this and lever it up because I want to get as much root and soil as possible so that loosen everything now after four seedlings you handle by the seed leaves because they aren't really needed anymore don't do the stem because if you crush the stem your entire plant's gone. You can see a nice healthy root system on there. So I've got just a mix of uh, multi-purpose compost, some a little bit of fertiliser, granular fertiliser and I've got too much in there. Some uh, vermiculite just to make it a bit late for the roots to get through. So a little bit at the bottom. I'll pop this as deep as I can. Because as you know, you probably do know by now, um, tomatoes will grow from along the stem, they'll grow new roots. You know, that helps them as a vein, they don't usually, they're not a climbing vein, they're a sprawling vein, so when they're growing along the ground, they grow these adv advantageous roots along the stem, that lets them uh, basically get more moisture, anchors them in, get more nutrients. And by planting it as deep as possible, you can see the difference. You get as much root as grown as possible and you get a healthier plant. So I'm going to do the rest of these and uh, then I'll come back and show you the next bit. So that's that lot potted up. Now some of them, like this one, you notice that I haven't put as much soil in the pot because it wasn't as long. So I put it down far enough so that by the time this grows a bit more, it'll get a bit more stem, it can add more soil to it and bring it up to the same level as the rest of them. So it'll still have as much maximum amount of uh, stem uh, producing roots. But the rest of them are looking okay. They're up to the well, they start the seed leaves and they should be producing um, side roots off the stem quite quickly. So I'll just water them in to get rid of any air bubbles. You know what? A bit more of a water flow if I take that off. And this is one seed that I don't remember what I saved last year. So I'll do one plant with this and we'll see what comes of it. Because I forgot to label it. So who knows? Okay, so that's these ones. <coughs> I have the main ones. I made a plant with these too early. But they're coming along okay. Um, I have had a problem where I've had the fans on and I think the fans dried them out too much and some of them got a little bit burnt and desiccated. But apart from that they're quite healthy, they are dripping a bit so they'll be getting a really good water. But I'm putting them into 
to this size pot. So as you see, quite a bit deeper. So I'll be able to bury them up to sort of like there and get more roots going on them as well. So I'll just move this out of my way. Force them up with. So I'll start off by putting a little bit of soil on the bottom. And these are the container wise uh, 15 cell trays. These are deep. Uh, no, these aren't the deep ones. So I bring this out. I can put this all the way down to the bottom. Make sure I take the label out because I don't want to bury that. And with that going all the way down to the bottom, I can pinch off the side shoots. Now some people leave them on. But I like to pinch them off so that they, they don't end up you know rotting away on the plant. And then just fill this up. Tap them down. I like to tap them because it's just forcing everything a little bit firmer without too, me pressing too much on it to break the stems or anything. Now I'm trying to get them centered. This one isn't quite centered. And that's the last pop look that I need. goes in the ground and again in the ground I can probably take off the bottom couple of leaves and plant it even further that's one that was an alicante no it wasn't that was an Ailsa Craig why did I say alicante I haven't got any alicante can't be growing this year so I'll just go through the rest of them so that's a little bit in the bottom, that's just to make sure that they walk these up. I'll let them dry out for a little while because if they're too wet, they fall apart too easy. Make sure I've got the label and that I'm not burning that. This one is a Cœur de Bois, uh, something hot by the sounds of it. Cœur, yeah. Okay, just Down, it goes down quite a bit as it fills up all the spaces. And then I have accidentally knocked off one of these leaves. That doesn't matter, it will be grow new leaves soon. I'm just finish filling it up right up as much as possible. As long as it's got its main growing tip, it'll be fine. Honest gov. Zanlozano. Well, these are the uh, paste tomato. Well, these will come off 
got nothing. Now we've got two types of cell models I know. I've got one that's supposed to be a bush and one that's supposed to be a vein. Let's hope one of them is, you know, they're both about as they're supposed to. And not that one of them is mislabeled. They're not my labels. So. <coughs> and from what I'm reading, there's very little about the differences. But it, it seems that the uh, Bush version is a hybrid, so you get the Salmazano tomato, but on a uh, more of a, a Bush growth. These will also all get watered, both from the top to set the in and from the bottom to uh, soak it all up. This is a uh, Bluetooth moisture level indicator. Um, just got it, trying it out and look, trying to work out what each percent, uh, value of it means. Um, hopefully it will be able to tell us that you know things are too dry or too wet and I'll be able to react quicker than you have with weight just sticking your finger in it. Next variety is Amish paste. Bottles. So that's the image paste. Four different types I've got Amish paste, Alsa Craig, Code of Blue, Salmo Zano. Right, and I'll get on with the rest of them. I've got five of each one, so that's four more of each to do. So give me a total of 20 of them, and then they go back into the tent. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I will see you on my next video. Click like if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and I will see you later. Ta-ra!